A man who spent the last 23 years in jail is scheduled to be released in just four days. A judge ruled Raymond Tempest can be released on home confinement Tuesday, and it comes a month after the judge vacated his murder conviction. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in our newsroom with the new details. Well, Raymond Beaver Tempest was not released today, but after paperwork is processed, he's expected to be out on bail on Tuesday. Open sobs of joy in the courtroom from the family of Raymond Tempest, known as Beaver, to these loved ones. This is the best day in 23 years. The family of murder victim Doreen Picard had stoic expressions as Judge Daniel Procassini granted bail. Tempest has been in prison for 23 years, convicted of murdering Picard. Last month, the judge overturned that conviction, citing a faulty investigation by the Woonsocket PD that stripped Tempest of his due process rights. Today's decision means Tempest will be out on home confinement while he awaits an appeal to the Supreme Court and possible retrial. I'm lost for words, to be honest with you. It's been long, long, long wait. Tempest's brother Gordon, a former Woonsocket police officer, served time for obstructing the initial murder investigation. He was overjoyed to hear his brother would be freed. I'm still kind of in shock that, it, that it's happened. We're very happy, you know, for the family, that for, for my brother to finally get him home after all these years. I'm just happy for the family. I wish that, uh, you know, the, a lot of them aren't here anymore to see this day. While the Tempest family celebrates what they've waited more than two decades for, they are still thinking of the Picards, who lost their daughter in 1982. My heart breaks for them because they've been lied to for 20 years. Yeah. So unfair to them. The Attorney General's office had no comment today. The state is appealing both the overturning of the conviction and today's granting of bail. Now, coming up new at 6.30 over on Fox Providence, we talk with a man who runs a justice website. He's been trying to prove Raymond Tempest's innocence for more than a decade. Live in the newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.